Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is my cardboard launcher for the tiny jet. I made some enhancements, so my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends, so I cut these out a ton on Friday with my classroom. And I found out that the attachments weren't perfect. I had to glue them all, and I would rather be able to build these without gluing them. So I went in and made some modifications, and it's time for us to send it to the Glowforge. This file will be available on Thingiverse. Right now, I'm going to upload it from my system. So I've always got mine stored in my keychain folder. There is the V5 file. Let's let it upload and see how it looks. Alrighty friends, so there is the design. I'm going to arrange it so it cuts out nifty. I know it won't fit the other way. I already tested that. I set it for my 4mm cardboard. I have got my one pass, 145 speed, 75% power cardboard settings. And it's time to make something awesome. Gotta love hitting that magic button. Alrighty friends, so let's go test the assembly process. Do make sure you store at least one of these middle ones because we are going to use those for this location back here. Alright, so I put the two bases underneath and then I put the two handles on top. I'm storing two of those so I'll have an extra one and then all three of the pegs that help us fasten it. Then the rest, I vacuum up. Alrighty friends, so when it comes to assembly, make sure you put the larger one on top. And what that does is it allows you to use gravity to hold these in place. If you put the larger one on the bottom, then it could fall through. If you've got the larger little attachment, it just stick in, just like that. There's one for each of these locations. And then there's also a bonus one in the back. I don't have an attachment up front, and that's because the rubber band is there to hold it in place. If yours are not snug enough, you can add a little bit of glue, but I think mine are going to be fine. And then these two just go together and slide in from the bottom up. And that, my friends, is a launcher. One of these pegs goes in here to help those two stay together. And you can see that snaps tight pretty darn sweet. When you're attaching the rubber band, if you go from the bottom to the top and then make a loop and come inside that loop, the rubber band is at a better angle for when you're actually launching your little jet. Alrighty friends, so this is the plane we've launched before, but on the version 5 launcher, let's see what we get. Not bad. I'm loving how straight and level they fly now. I had several students the other day get there so they could fly straight and level and hit the wall with the uh, correct amount of clay and such. That plane, my F-15 version, it still dives. But this is what I found with students. They could practice getting that wing placement where it needed to be, launching skills, and getting the excellent launches that they wanted. Of course, friends, you will be able to find a link in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.